welcome back. Welcome All right, back. the Jacksonville right, Dental Jack Specialists have been serving the First Coast for years. They've been supporting Jacksonville residents with simplified yet safe solutions for complex dental issues. And prosthodontist Dr. Matthew Naraki from the Jacksonville Dental Specialists is here with us today to explain how to know when to consider full mouth dental implants. How you doing, man? Well, well. Good to I see am. you. Yeah. So we, we talk about this each week, and, and, and what we're getting at here is is you know root canals, crowns, bridge work. Mm -hmm. You know, keep getting those. At what point do you say, hey, you know what? We need to stop patchwork, and we need to exactly. maybe just go with the whole thing. I exactly, and that's a common question. A lot of what we talk about, particularly on this show, are options. But one of the hardest things to decide is, and it's really a conversation that we have with patients, is when do you make the decision to look at some option other than keeping the teeth, or when is it a good decision to keep the teeth? And so that really starts first and foremost. Uh, with your consultation. Every patient, whether the person thinks they have a big problem or small problem, we really want to sit down with you and spend a long time at your consultation. It's not like a five or 10 or 20 minute uh, sit down meeting that, that you might have experienced in the past. It's, it's a very thorough consultation. It's an hour, hour and a half, sometimes longer than that. Um, because as a prosthodontist, what we do it is really different than what your general dentist uh, does. It's, it's actually kind of the reverse, it's not the same. And so we really need to sit down, understand, align with what are your goals? What are your wishes? What is the uh, long-term outcome that you, that you expect? What is your value system? And then we need to see, do the, does your teeth or does your current situation foster a good outcome for that? Or do we really need to look at something other, um, otherwise? Maybe we need to have a whole paradigm shift. Maybe the teeth have simply run their course and it's time to look at something like a full mouth of dental implants or maybe it's we could use a combination keep some teeth do some implants or maybe what you thought you needed was entirely different maybe if we just do um, some reconstruction on your teeth it could get that outcome so it's very unique it's not a uh, one-size-fits-all it's a very one-off customized process well yeah I mean you just said it there as far as it's not one size because everyone's situation and how they want to use their teeth is so different so mm -hmm. then there's no way to put one single cost on it. and that's the number one question you probably get is there's not it's, is it's it better to just spend a little bit on crowns or exactly because there's the cost but then there's also the long-term cost and then it's it's all it's always a matter of weighing the pros and cons and that's something as prosthodontists our day-to-day -day is about is is about that's not well you have a filling do the filling it's it's weighing the pros and cons and so if you have a good outcome and the teeth are going to provide a great long-term outcome and I define that usually as is it going to last realistically less than 10 years or do we have a good chance longer than 10 years if they're going to last very long term it might be it might be a viable option but if it's not going to last up you're going to find that you're going to spend a lot of money just simply repeating the same outcome more frustration going down that path of retreat after retreat spending a lot of time and money whereas we could maybe yes might have to sacrifice some teeth but the better for the betterment of the whole picture and then yes ultimately you can have something that in the long run is significantly less expensive much more predictable gives you more of what you want achieves those goals and those values and sets you up on a path of success hopefully the rest of your life with the the, the full mouth restoration and the implants i mean those are solid you know non porous you know exactly. structures exactly does that mean once you once you get those does that mean you'll never have to do root it, canal it it Yes, to answer your question, things like root canals and all that with a full mouth of implants are, are an impossibility. All that, that, that apparatus and that anatomical structure is not relevant in a, in a full mouth dental implant. So if done correctly, if, if lined up with the right goals and the values, yes, this is something we tell people, this should last the rest of your life. Everything has, you know, whether you have all your teeth or implants, everything wears. You're eating a lot of foods. Yes, things can happen, things can break. But the beauty about full mouth implants, the maintenance and the serviceability is oftentimes extremely easy and simple and oftentimes minimal to no cost. Whereas with advanced uh, reconstructions on your natural teeth, when things go wrong or if they go wrong in the fix, it, it can sometimes be very costly. So we always strive that when we get to the point where it's time to make a decision to take the teeth out, do a full mouth of implants, we're trying to set you up on something that will last the rest of your life. You, you talk about how each patient is, is different and then you, you also allow the patient to come in and, and basically kind of choose choose their own adventure, so exactly. to speak. So like, can people come in and basically say, hey, you know what, I've always had this shade of, of mm -hmm. white, I, I'm gonna go it's, totally it, different. It, cosmetics and aesthetics, it's a very, 
complex scenario and it's an ever changing, you know, it, it's based on the times. And as prosthodontists, we truly are the only recognized cosmetic or aesthetic dentist um, in dentistry. We are the only specialist that, that is, is under the ADA is given that. And so we really sit down with you, not just understanding how to get something strong that's going to work and be comfortable, but it's got to look aesthetically pleasing. It's got to look nice. Everyone wants a nice smile, whether they tell you it or not. And so really it's a process of helping that person, making suggestions, guiding them, but ultimately it needs to be their decision because some of the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, and so as prosthodontists, we really want to help guide you to there. We don't want to force you into it, but we pair ourselves up with all the advanced materials and techniques. And the lab we use is just as specialized as, as myself and my partner, Dr. Uh, Aguila. All they do is this type of treatment modality. That's it. All day, every day, they literally just do full mouth implants. And so the aesthetics can be very, very honed in. It's a very precise um, thing that meet your expectations. Well, yeah, it, I'm, I'm wondering, have you ever had anybody come in, so you're saying the patient can pick what they want. Have you ever had somebody mm -hmm. come in and be like, hey, you know what, my canines are, are just not big enough. I, I eat a lot of steak. I want really big yeah. canines and in my so implants. Can you We, we can always you have that? to be cognizant of aesthetics or cosmetics are one part of it, and there's always a series of, of concessions and pros and cons. So on one end, you have the most aesthetic thing and the strong thing. So if someone wants a very prominent canine, you know, they really want to bite into that meat like a, like a wolf or something. Yeah. You can, it's not that that can't be achieved, but we have to balance that with their forces. We have to balance that with their skeleton. We have to balance that with a lot of things because we don't want to also set you up to have recurring fractures and mechanical <laughs> problems. But um, yes, I mean, a lot of that stuff can be honed in and tweaked. And, and a lot of it is a matter of all of us understanding on what are the unique set of situations, the parameters, really the rules of the game that apply to your your situation so yeah we can really hone that in we oftentimes have people they don't want them to be perfectly straight across or they'd what they bring in a picture and maybe they're slightly rotated or maybe there's all these things just the little nuances that add character and, and it, it makes all the difference you give them your best advice like hey this but Absolutely. at the end of the day it's like all right you want yeah i mean there, there are certain parameters that that as a process i'm looking at mechanically and yeah. from an engineering standpoint you know and once i'm satisfied with those then there's a lot of parameters that really it's up to the patient do you want them super white do you want the very natural do you want them a little rotate? Do you want this more prominent? So there's a wide spectrum that within a defined set of parameters, they can be successful. I think and, that's what's really and cool. It's, it's ultimately what you want. It's, it's, yeah. it's not necessarily what I want. I think that's what's really cool is they, they show you on the computer exactly mm -hmm. how it all works. Absolutely. It's good stuff. Yep. Good stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it. And yeah, the best way, like I said, there's always a seminar uh, that you can check out. And this, this seminar coming up is Wednesday, June 20th at 6.30 at the, uh, the office, Jacksonville office location. That's where you can really get a lot of questions answered and then set up your consultation. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you being here, Doc. Thank you. All right, I want to thank Jacksonville Dental Specialists for being here and sharing this information. You can call 904-460-4201 today to schedule a consultation, or you can visit their website to learn more at jacksonvilledentalspecialists.com.